the extremity of the show, Deadliest Catch, makes it one of the most viewed shows in America. The show brings a new dimension to the reality shows by featuring crab fishermen aboard fishing vessels in the Bering Sea during the Alaskan king crab and snow crab fishing seasons. From the living room, it might look pretty easy to the viewers, but the fierce weather in the Bering Sea made it compulsory for the show's producers to station U.S. Coast Guard rescue squads near the northern end of the crab fishing grounds. The U.S. Coast Guard rescue squads were featured on the show after the cast members lost three boats within three years. Deadliest Catch premiered on the Discovery Channel on April 12, 2005, and its name was derived from the high risk associated with the line of work. The show emphasizes the dangers on deck to the fishermen and camera crews as they duck heavy crab pots swinging into position, maneuver hundreds of ponds of crabs across a deck strewn with hazards, and lean over the rails to position pots for launch or retrieval while gale force winds and high waves lash the deck constantly. Each episode of the show focuses on a story or situation that occurs on one or more boats. As part of the story, the boat's captains are featured alongside their crew. A typical story on the show includes friendly rivalries among the captains, particularly between Sig Hansen of the FV Northwestern and Jonathan and Andy Hillstrand of the Time Bandit. Since we are here to discuss what really happened to Andy Hillstrand, let's get into it fully. <laughs> Andrew Paul Hillstrand, popularly called Andy, was born in Homer, Alaska in the year 1963. He spent most of his early years in Homer with his father, John Hillstrand Sr., who was a commercial fisherman, and since his mother left the family at an early age, he knew very little about his mom. Nothing is known about Andy's mother to date, as the family prefers not to talk about her. His father brought him up with the help of his stepmother, Nancy Hillstrand. Andy grew up with five other brothers in Homer, his stepbrother inclusive. Andy started helping his father with his hard work right from childhood. He learned the ropes of the business within a few years, and after just four years of learning from his father, he took his brother, Jonathan, fishing at the tender age of seven. As a professional fisherman of the third generation, it is safe to say Andy Hillstrand was not even dreaming about worldwide fame when he first joined his father's business. But after years of hard work, Andy became a star of the TV show, The Deadliest Catch. Andy spent most of his years in Homer, so not much is known about his education. He probably graduated from a high school in Homer, but no further information on his college or university education. Andy had worked in the sphere of commercial fishing for more than 30 years before he was invited to participate in The Deadliest Catch. He and his brother Jonathan appeared in the show as co-captains of their fishing vessel, Time Bandit, a 113-foot house aft boat that the Hillstrands own and was designed by John Hillstrand. Prior to his appearance on The Deadliest Catch, Andy featured in TV series like American Chopper, the series on Discovery Channel, and The Insider, and it was after these projects that he was invited onto The Deadliest Catch. Additionally, he has also appeared in television shows such as the documentary reality series After the Catch, the TV film Alaskan Monster Hunt, Hill Stranded, and The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, among many others. Andy admits that if it were not for the show, he would proceed just with his father's business and go on working in the sphere of commercial fishing. Andy is happily married to his long-term lover, Sabrina, and they recently celebrated their wedding anniversary. Andy revealed in one of his interviews that it was hard to live a married life when he was far away from home most of the time, though their marriage seemed to be strong. A few years ago, Andy decided to quit Deadliest Catch, and that brought up speculations when fans didn't see him on the show. Initially, Andy Hillstrand's departure from the show coincided with the retirement of his brother, Jonathan Hillstrand with whom he essentially shared captain's duties aboard their boat, the FV Time Bandit. However, following a multi-season absence, Jonathan and the Time Bandit returned, but Andy was no longer a member of the ship's crew. Andy's brother Jonathan suffered from several heart attacks, but went on working and starring in the show, and even after Andy left, he came back to keep working. Jonathan is now retired as well. He officially retired after season 14 to spend time with his family. Since Andy left the show, he has made it a priority to stay clear of social media and public spaces. He now lives within the Seattle-Tacoma area, where he is now fully into construction work. Andy had to take a break from his construction work in 2017 due to back surgery, but he seems fully recovered and has gone to establish his construction business, Hillstrand Construction, from scratch. So, was Andy fired from the show, 
or he just deemed it fit to leave. In an interview, Andy revealed that the scheduling issues and conflicting brand ideologies caused his relationship with the producers to sour. Over time, the circumstances led him to leave the show. In other words, Andy wasn't fired. He left due to the ever-demanding nature of the show's producers. We thought Discovery had everything they needed. But then they came back and said they needed pickup shots, so our schedule was pretty much screwed. It got to the point in our relationship where something had to change, and we just said enough is enough. So we butted heads for a while. The headbutting meeting they had led to his decision to leave the show, which seems he is not coming back to the show anytime soon. When asked what his retirement plans were, he said his plan is to retire on a yacht in warmer water, a clear indicator that he and the crew of the Time Bandit likely won't be ice fishing again. Understandably, years of working in the frigid waters of the Bering Sea, coupled with adverse weather circumstances and stressful work conditions, can take a toll on an individual. Andy, who has always remained fiercely independent and loyal to his unique brand identity, simply wasn't taking any more disheartening treatment on the show and ended his tenure early. Furthermore, as reported by user Down in the Zero in response to a Reddit thread questioning Hillstrand's absence, the Hillstrands were subject to a lawsuit by a crew member of the Time Bandit who was injured on one of their boats by a firework produced by their Hillstrand Fireworks brand. Also, the Time Bandit, which is indeed one of the best boats on Deadliest Catch with its amenities, experienced a sudden and inexplicable engine explosion in 2018. This caused the Hillstrand brothers to put the ship on sale for $2.9 million on the Dock Street Brokers site. This also contributed to the few reasons why Andy decided to call it quit. Andy Hillstrand, though now retired from Deadliest Catch, is still active in his personal business and other shows as a TV personality. Andy is a well-achieved commercial fisherman and businessman who keeps growing his wealth through multiple channels. His estimated net worth is around $1.5 million, plus some other investments like his mansion in Virginia and house ranch. Also, the official website of Hillstrand's fishing vessel has an e-commerce shop where they sell cups, souvenirs, and shirts to complement his net worth. When Andy isn't working, he spends his off days on his 17-acre house ranch located in Chandler, Indiana, where together with his wife, he launched their own business called Hobby Horse Acres, training horses and teaching people to ride. The idea of owning a horse ranch came to life when his daughter, Cassandra, requested for a horse as a birthday gift. Andy, together with his wife, also sees this as a perfect opportunity to diversify their investment portfolio. Andy himself spends a lot of time riding, and has even participated in and won various races, including the 1998 Alaska National Barrel Horse Association Barrel Racing Reserve title. He was also the state NBHA champ twice, in 1999 and 2000. When interviewed after his victory, he said, It is very basic, but not simple. I have to ride the horse without getting in the way of his natural movement, which takes all my emotional and mental concentration, as well as my physical balance and fitness. The horse provides an instant source of feedback if I'm out of balance physically, emotionally, or mentally, and he lets me know right away. That keeps me very centered. Andy will surely be missed on the show and on the boat, since it hasn't sold after the engine explosion. More so, the decision was rejected because Andy and Jonathan's brother, Neil, has some legal issues to sort out with his ex-wife. Would you love to see Andy go back on his words that he can't return to the show?